Warm greetings from GNV Academy. Today in this session, we are going to discuss about Pareto analysis, which is a common quality control tool. Before we move ahead, let me tell you about the key concepts which we will be discussing in this session. During the course of this session, we will discuss about what is Pareto analysis, steps of Pareto analysis, how to create a Pareto chart, advantages of Pareto analysis, what is Pareto analysis used for, how is a Pareto chart different from vertical bar graph? And what is Pareto efficiency? So let's begin our discussion and talk about what is Pareto analysis. Pareto analysis is a technique used for business decision making but which also has applications in several different fields from welfare economics to quality control. It is based largely on the 80 to 20 rule. As a decision making technique, Pareto analysis statistically separates a limited number of input factors either desirable or undesirable which have the greatest impact on an outcome. Pareto analysis is premised on the idea that 80% of a project's benefit can be achieved by doing 20% of the work or conversely, 80% of problems can be traced to 20% of the causes. Pareto analysis is a powerful quality and decision making tool. In the most general sense, it is a technique for getting the necessary facts needed for setting priorities. As a decision making technique, Pareto analysis statistically separates a limited number of input factors either desirable or undesirable which have the greatest impact on an outcome. With Pareto analysis, each problem or benefit is given a numerical score based on the level of impact on the company, the higher the score, the greater its impact. Modern day applications of Pareto analysis are used to determine which issues cause the most problems within various different departments, organizations or sectors of a business. By allocating resources to issues with higher scores, companies can use Pareto analysis to solve problems more efficiently because they can target those problems that have a greater impact on the business. Typically, Pareto analysis is employed by business managers whose approach typically involves conducting a statistical analysis such as a cause and effect analysis to product a list of potential problems and the outcomes of these problems. Following the information provided by the cause and the effect analysis, the 80-20 rule can be applied. Here are some scenarios relevant to business where Pareto analysis might be applicable. Sharing information about defects or errors with high priority stakeholders. Prioritizing defects or tasks according to their severity. For example, according to their impact on a system or business. Analyzing data or errors and defects. Let us now discuss the steps in Pareto analysis. By applying the 80-20 rule, problems can be sorted based on whether they affect profits, customer complaints, technical issues, product defects or delays and backlogs from missed deadlines. Each of these issues is given a rating based on the amount of revenue or sales and time lost or the number of complaints received. Here is a basic breakdown of the steps of the Pareto analysis. The first one is identify the problems. The second one is list or identify the cause of the issues or problems. Noting that there could be multiple causes. Third one is score the problems. By assigning a number to each that one prioritizes the problem based on the level of the negative impact on the company. The fourth one is organize the problems into groups such as customer service or system issues. The fifth one is develop and implement an action plan. Focusing on the higher score problems first in order to solve the problems. Not all problems will have a high score and some smaller problems may not be worth pursuing initially. By allocating resources to high impact issues or higher scores, companies can solve problems more efficiently by targeting the issues that have a major impact on profits, sales or customers. So let us now move ahead and discuss how to create a Pareto charts. A common part of Pareto analysis is to graphically depict the occurrence of each variable being tracked. This depiction is called a Pareto chart and it organizes or displays information to show the relative importance of various problems or causes of problems. 
It is similar to a vertical bar graph in that it puts items in order from the highest to the lowest relative to some measurable effect of interest. Frequency, cost or time. Here is the process of making a pair to chart. The first one is develop a list of problems to be compared. The second one is develop a standard measure for comparing the items. For example, how often it occurs frequency. For example, utilization, complications, errors. How long it takes time. How many resources it uses cost. The third one is choose a life frame for collecting the data. The fourth one is for each item tally how often it occurred or cost or total time. Then add these amounts to determine the grand total for all items. The fifth one is find the percent of each item in the grand total by taking the sum of the item dividing by it the grand total and multiplying by 100. The sixth one is list the items being compared in decreasing order of the measure of comparison. For example, the most frequent to the least frequent. The cumulative percent for an item is the sum of that item is percent of the total and that all of the other items that come before in it, the ordering by rank. The cumulative percent of an item is the sum of that item's percent of the total and that of all the other items that come before it in the ordering by rank. The seventh one is list the items on the horizontal axis of a graph from highest to lowest. Label of the left vertical axis with the numbers frequency, time or cost. The eighth one is label the right vertical axis with the cumulative percentages. The cumulative total should be equal 100%. The ninth one is draw in the bars of each item. The tenth one is draw a line graph of the cumulative percentages. The first point of the line graph should line up with the total of the first bar. The final steps is analysis. You can now analyze a Pareto chart by identifying those items that appear to account for most of the difficulty. So we will now move ahead and discuss about the advantages of Pareto analysis. Helps to identify and determine the roots, causes of defects or problems. Organizations can eliminate or resolve defects or errors with the highest priority first. Determine the cumulative impact of a problem, where cumulative impact is defined as an effect that is being caused due to a problem happening over a long period of time. Organizations can use Pareto charts to plan what measures or actions need to be taken in order to amend problems. Pareto charts can sharpen problem solving and decision making skills. We should now discuss about what is Pareto analysis used for. Pareto analysis is used to identify problems or strengthens within an organization as an overwhelming amount of impact is often tied to a relatively smaller proportion of a company. Pareto analysis strives to identify the more material issues worth resolving or more successful aspects of a business. Pareto analysis enables an entity to be more efficient with its resources. By quickly identifying a major issues or capitalizing on a major business success, the company can spend less time and resources focusing on less impactful aspects of the company. So let us now talk about our next topic which is how is a Pareto chart different from a standard vertical bar graph. A vertical bar graph is a type of graph that visually displays data using vertical bars going up from the bottom. In a vertical bar graph, the lengths are proportional to the quantities they represent. Vertical bar graphs are typically utilized when one axis cannot have a numerical scale. A Pareto chart is a type of chart that contains both bars and a line graph, where individual values are represented in descending order by bars and the cumulative total is represented by the line. A Pareto chart is a different from a vertical bar graph because the bars are positioned in order of decreasing height with the tallest bar on the left. And finally, we will now discuss about Pareto efficiency. Pareto efficiency is a state of the economy where resources cannot be allocated to provide more advantages for one individual without making at least one individual worth off. Pareto efficiency implies that resources are allocated in the most economically efficient manner.
However, this state does not guarantee equality or fairness. So we have now come to the conclusion of this session. We will be eagerly waiting for your questions. So please feel free to post them in the comment section of the video and we will be really happy answering them. Till we meet next is Best Versus from TNV Academy. Thank you.